Lisa with Little Moth Creations and I am back with my witch casket for May 2022. So this one comes from the UK and they ship it out like mid-month and so I usually get it like right at the very end of the month or um, like the very first of the, the next month. But anyways, I've had this for a couple days. I got interrupted the other day. I think my boyfriend came over or something. And so I like didn't make this video. Anyways, hi! <laughs> if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Lisa and I have lots of squirrel moments because I'm super ADHD, but I just took, um, my doctor just gave me a new medication. Um, I had tried Adderall before, but because I drink these guys, <laughs> um, I felt like my chest, my uh, heart was jumping out my chest. So I was like, mm, nah. As a nurse, I know this is not good. <laughs> so anyways, we're trying Stratera, which is like a non-stimulant. Um, although my doctor did say like cut back on your caffeine. So we'll see. So anyways, <laughs> if you guys are new, um, yeah. So I like to do unboxings and like crystal stuff. And sometimes I talk about books and tarot, witchy shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so if that sounds like something you like, hit that subscribe button, y'all. Subscribe! I'm almost to a thousand subscribers, and I will be doing a big giveaway once I hit that milestone, and I'm so close. Okay, let's get into the box. Um, I say this every time, Witch Casket is my ultimate favorite um, of my witchy subscriptions. It is amazing, and the price, even from the UK, like shipping and everything, it's still like, like a little over 50 bucks. And uh, I think that's great. So, all right, we've got uh, Magical Healing is our theme for today. All right, it says Introducing May's Witch Casket. May's Casket is all about magical healing, and we hope the contents will help you to manifest whatever healing you need and to move forward happier and healthier. I need that. I like the healthier part for sure. Please remember to read through this pamphlet so you can familiarize yourself with this month's items and any safety information. As always, please email blah, 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 comments or questions. We love seeing all your posts on social media that makes us feel so loved and appreciated. And for a small family business like ours, it really does make a difference. So please be sure to tag any social media posts with uh, hashtag witch casket so we can easily find and share them. Our global witch casket family is so important to us and we really do want to thank each one of you for being such an important part of our lives. Until the next time, be well, Deb and Ella. So Deb and Ella are a um, mom and daughter team, which I think is so cool. Um, hopefully one of these days, me and my granddaughter will be a um, grandma and, and granddaughter team. <laughs> She's gonna be like, mom, or mom. I'm not mom, I'm grandma. She calls me Yaya. She's gonna be like, Yaya, I don't even want that stuff. But actually she loves crystals, so. We're already there a bit, so. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. I finally cleaned off my altar. For the most part, it's pretty cleared off. Um, hopefully with this um, ADHD medicine, I can get some stuff done around here. All right, so we have this artwork. Hopefully you guys can see it, because it, it's like white um, in the, uh, it, there's some white. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a witch casket exclusive. All right. I wonder if they say anything about this. I don't want to read anything. Magical healing art print, witch casket exclusive. This magical print was lovingly created by our in-house designer, especially for you. Um, that was all it said. Okay. All right. Ooh, I don't know what to get. Okay. So we have a scroll. We usually do. There's just like a little sticker on it. I don't know that you're going to be able to see that very well. All right, let's see. Scroll, scroll, scroll. No. Where's the scroll? Oh, parchment scroll. There we go. Uh, simple healing spells parchment scroll. I'm trying to get the sticker off. Let me don't screw up the paper. Okay, got it. All right, so on here we've got distance healing, physical healing, emotional healing, and spiritual healing. So this is like a nice Book of Shadow page with some information. I have to like lay it out. Maybe I can put this on there and lay it out so I can eventually get into my Book of Shadows. So it says, 
Simple Healing Spells. It is a Witch Casket exclusive. Pretty much at this point in time, everything is like Witch Casket exclusive, which I love, love, love. Okay, Distance Healing, Emotional Healing, Spiritual Healing, and Physical Healing. Four magical healing spells curated especially for our subscribers and presented on a classic parchment scroll. This information can be copied to your Grimoire, Book of Shadows, or you can simply place the sheet inside your spell book. Frame, these scrolls also add splendor to the walls of your home. I mean, my walls can always use some splendor. I don't know about yours, but... <laughs> okay, we have a sachet with our crystal. It's got like a sigil on it, y'all. All right, so Amethyst Healing Crystal. Let me show you guys. This is beautiful. So there's like a sigil of sorts. Not sure which way it goes, but look how pretty the, the uh, amethyst is. It's a deep purple. Y'all know me. I like some purple. All right. Amethyst Healing Crystal inscribed with our powerful healing sigil. Very nice. This amethyst is an excellent physical and emotional healer. I need to turn my phone like between work like, because I get notifications. We can, so if you guys don't know, I'm a virtual nurse and we communicate with our doctors on, um, have you guys heard of Microsoft Teams? Anyways, it's also on my phone because my computer, it's it like, when I'm working, I can't hear the notification, so my phone, I put it on my phone so I can hear it. But anyways, that's going um, nuts. And then two of my two best girlfriends at work, <laughs> They're, we're in a group chat and they're just like bing, 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 bing. Okay, back to the emotional healer. Okay, so physical emotional healer and amethyst calm serene energy makes this a great meditation aid. Amethyst is also a natural tranquilizer. It relieves stress and strain, soothes anxiety and irritability, and calms anger, fear, and grief. Very nice. It's so pretty. I'm sure it says the same thing. Yeah. Um, it says the same thing in the little pamphlet. All right. Ooh, I don't know what to do next. Okay. So we have some uh, heart healing incense. There we go. And it says, surround yourself with the healing vibrations of jasmine and rose. And then um, on the side that they have like um, a little affirmation. So it says, light the incense and affirm. I surround myself with healing energies and vibrations which soothe my heart and soul. So that is written, I don't know if you guys can actually see all that, but anyways, um, let's see. Incense, okay. Okay, basically it just, I read the stuff on the boxes, the stuff in here, but let's smell it. Let's smell it. I just have a hard time opening stuff. Okay, we're just gonna break it open okay <laughs> ah, okay we good oh my gosh I can already smell it oh my god y'all know I love me some smells <laughs> but then my allergies will start going crazy and I start sneezing okay that over there and this over here and that there Oh, how cute! So we have this sachet, and it is a wooden intention healing easel. <laughs> oh my god. It's a freaking wooden easel, and it says, so mote it be. How freaking adorable is that? Oh my god. And then you could put like. So you could put like your tarot card, your um, oracle card. You could do all kinds of things. Let's see what they say about it. All right. So, um, obviously it's a witch casket exclusive and it says use this magical easel as an aid to setting intentions, particularly useful for things such as distant healing spells. Place a picture of the person for whom you are casting a spell to aid you as you work your magic. I love it. And I know what I'm going to do with it first. <laughs> I got, I got goals, witches. I got goals. What's your goal? What is your top? Let's do this. Let's, let's, let's do this. So we just had a new moon a couple days ago. What was your intention? Like, what is your current goal that you're focusing on? I'd love to hear in the comments below. So I have, I have two goals. I have two intentions 
that I'm working on. Maybe I only need to do one, but I just can't do that. I need to do more than one. So my first intention is to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube and get monetized. That is my first goal. I've already hit, so there's two things you have to hit to get monetized on YouTube, and that is 4,000 watch hours in like a 12 uh, month rolling period. I'm over the 4,000 watch hours and then a thousand subscribers and then you have to like apply and make sure that you don't suck balls and all that stuff and then um, and then you can get monetized and whatever so I'm like mm, subscribe <laughs> so my plan is um, as I get as I get monetized I want to start bringing more boxes for you guys like using that money to like even more build this this channel you know what I'm saying so anyways and then my second goal, this is a big one. I want to do it. I hit the goal yesterday. Um, was it yesterday or the day before? I don't know. I want to sell $200 worth of product in my Etsy store every single day. I'm telling the universe, I want to sell, no, hold on, let me reaffirm that. <laughs> I consistently sell over $200 worth of product in my Etsy store every single day. Yeah, I don't make 200, I wouldn't make 200 off of that because you gotta take out Etsy fees and you gotta take out sometimes shipping because people get free shipping and then you gotta take out um, your cost of like the product or you know the cost to make it. But anyways, I want, I consistently sell over $200 worth of product in my Etsy store every single day. So you do your affirmation as if it is already here. I am monetized on YouTube. I have a thousand subscribers, over a thousand subscribers. Okay, anyway, it's... I freaking digress. Um, so there's that. So I wanted you guys to know what my goals were. <laughs> um, so I was literally like screaming it out the window today. I ran to the post office to ship orders and um, I had to go get my um, ADHD medicine and all that, which does it, is it working yet? I don't think it is. Um, but I was so, okay, I'm going to go down a freaking rabbit hole, you guys. But um, those of you that love me know that that's what I do. <laughs> So, there is a church in California, is it California? Fudge, what is the name of it? There, so anyways, there is this church that is, um, uh, they're actually witches, like, they think that they're Christian, but they're witches, like, they do some witchy shit, but anyways, in their service, in their, like, their, their church service, they all yell, like, things about money. So they're like, money in the mail, checks and inheritances. Uh, I don't know. I started making up some shit. So, <laughs> so I was like, child support. Okay, like my kids are adults, but my ex, I'm going down a really huge rabbit hole. My ex-husband owes me like, at this point, like $46,000 from back child support. So anyways, um, I was yelling out. My, I had my windows rolled down. I was driving down the road and I was screaming, child support, Etsy money, money in my PayPal. Checks in the mail. I, I said some other ones that were really hilarious. But anyways, oh, I know what it was. So I pulled up to the stop sign. My windows were rolled down. And apparently the person that I rolled up next to, her windows were also down. And I screamed, money on YouTube. <laughs> and she was like, <laughs> and I'm just like, uh huh? <laughs> like guys, literally this is me all day, all, all the time. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's get back to the box. So we have a tea strainer, or not tea strainer, but tea infuser, and it's got a beautiful amethyst. Lovely, oh, it's a pretty one, okay. Healing amethyst potion infuser. This infuser to steep your herbs, crystals, etc. Steep your crystals? What? Okay, to make potions, infusions, and elixirs, amethyst, oh, you could do an elixir, that's a great idea. Amethyst is a calming stone of peace and healing, which can soothe the heart, body, and mind. Oh, that's a great idea, y'all. Um, like, I have a teacup somewhere around here. But anyways, yeah, to put... Now listen, you have to be careful. Not every, not every crystal can be um, put in liquid. Like, you shouldn't drink every crystal, so make sure you do your research. But you can put a crystal in there and put it in your friggin' tea, and then infuse it for the... That's so great, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so I read everything to do with that. Fun, fun, fun. Never thought of that. Deb and Ella, you guys are genius. All right, speaking of tea, we have Healing Witches Brew, and you always get um, Dose. 
So it says, relax and enjoy our healing blend of rose and mint. Brew with intent, drink mindfully and affirm. In this witch's brew, I find natural healing for body and mind. Ingredients, obviously, rose and mint. But yes, put your freaking tea in there and put a freaking rose quartz or some shit. Okay, that's gonna be so great. I'm so excited. That's such a good idea. Okay. Ooh, we got our enamel pin. How cute is that guy? It's a crescent moon with like some sort of flower. Is that like lavender? Um, whoop. All right. Where is, there it is. Lunar and lavender enamel pen. The healing energies of lavender and the moon brought together in one enchanting pen. And I shall put it on my pen holder thingy over there in a momento. All right, we have two more things. I'm super excited. I don't know what these are, but we have this lovely, um, like burlapy almost bag with this beautiful it's the same like that's the symbol that was on the pen so excited so i'm assuming this is our like spell for the spell for the month so we have um lavender very nice we have some chippies what are those those are rose quartz they're they're very light they're very light pink um rose quartz chippies in there and then we have this totes adorbs Something, something. Oh, it's a spritzer. Oh my God, I'm like extra special today, guys. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Emotional healing aura spray. Okay, one cup of distilled water, rose quartz chips, lavender flowers, and then your spray bottle. Um, if you need to preserve the spray. Okay, and then they talk about preserving it with this, that, and the other. Put this shit together in a pan, heat it. Da, 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 da. Anyways, it's got a little spell on here. Oh, and there's even like an incantation and everything. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. How cute is this? Okay, put all this back in here and let me stop fawning all over it. But seriously, adorbs. And I appreciate all these cute bags and stuff that they always put everything in. Um, let me see if it says anything more about this. No, it just tells you what's in there. Okay. Last but certainly not least, we have this wooden box with some sacred geometry. What is that? The, um, the flower of life? Did I make that up? Crystal healing wooden box. A beautiful etched wooden box designed for crystal healing of all kinds. Comes complete. Hold on, there's more. Comes complete with amethyst crystals. So we got some amethyst chippy doos and full instructions. So it's crystal crystal healing wooden box. Okay. Um, so anyways, there is like instructions on what to do here. Uh, and I guess you're going to maybe do, um, not only put th some things inside, but you could also do a little like baby crystal grid on the top of this. I'm pretty sure that's the, um, flower, flower of life. Did I, I don't know. Maybe I'm making it up. Anyways, so you can put like, um, crystals and there's a little divot right here to put like your, um, your center crystal. Anyways, ah, <laughs> this box is so cool. Okay, guys, that is our witch casket for May 2022. Like, I legit cannot wait, like, for this box every month. It is my absolute favorite. Deb and Ella, I tell you every time, let's be best friends. I'm coming to visit. Can I stay at your place? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not crazy. I wouldn't do that. Unless you invited me, and then I'd be like, girls, let's do this. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I want to make sure that I didn't miss anything in here I did not so they also do a little highlight feature um, and they put some of their uh, if, if you if you hashtag which casket and which casket feature on your social media accounts um, they may use you for the back of their pamphlet so here are some people that got featured very nice very nice 
I need to um, I need to try to take some better photos and um, get myself featured on the back. That'd be great. That'd be great. <laughs> Divinella, feature me. Let me let me take some cool pictures first, but. All right, guys, I'm going to stop talking, and I would love to hear what you guys think about this month's box, as well as what is your current intention right now? What is your goal, y'all? I would love to hear it, and if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, it really helps out my channel. And if you're not a current subscriber, guys, I would love if you would help me reach my uh, my current goal of a 1,000 subscribers so I could bring more funness to y'all, and hopefully I like monetize enough to buy every box in the world. Every box! I don't know if that's going to happen, but anyways. <laughs> All right, guys, I am out. Peace. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.